Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to bring you uh, the video for uh, what I did over the weekend in the fish room. Um, so this is the fish room update for the week. Um, so I didn't get a ton done as far as uh, build wise. There's not really a ton to do right now. Um, but what I wanted to share with you guys is what I chose to do as far as lighting for the new display tank. Right, meow. Um, so I asked you guys a while back um, what y'all thought about the... Uh, AP, not the AP, the uh, Kessel A360Ws, and a lot of you guys said they would work, and then a lot of you guys told me to take a look at the AP700, so I did. I did a lot of research on uh, the Kessel A360Ws and the AP700, and at the end of the day, um, it's just uh, not a light for me. Um, a, lot, a lot of considerations went into effect. I won't get into it because I really don't feel like starting, you know, comment wars or anything like that, but... At the end of the day, it just ended up not being a light for me, and I kind of scratched the entire idea of um, running the Kessel A360Ws as well. So what I ended up with is um, two um, Ecotech Radeon XR30s, and I got a really awesome story behind them. Um, one is a Generation 2, and the other one is a Generation 3. So let me show you them. Um, I tried doing a video on, video on them already, and... So I already did the unboxing of them, but the other video just didn't work out. So this one's a Generation 2 XR30 Pro, and this one's a Generation 3 XR30, just regular one. Um, I went with these because they're they're very, very proven um, in the reef hobby uh, for growing SPS and just about everything. And from what I understand, they're highly tunable. My buddy has one on his tank, and it seemed like a pretty cool light. Um, and like I said, they're proven. That was my biggest thing is it is a proven light. So that's what I went with. Um, the, 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 to make the story really short, um, my LFS, I went to him to see if he had a uh, Generation 3 reg regular XR30. And he didn't. He said they would be about two weeks out and that, that was a long time. I could order it off of BRS or Marine Depot and have it in like three to five days. But I wanted to support my local store, so I just asked him. Um, if he had any back stock of anything, any of the Radeons, and he said he did, and he had the back stock of the Generation 2 um, Pros because nobody wanted to buy them, everybody wants the Generation 3, so he hasn't been able to move them. So to make that really long story short, a lot of haggling went down, a lot of negotiating went down, and I ended up getting the light for 500 bucks. Um, so that was that was that was a steal for the uh, for that Generation 2 Pro. Um, the XR30 Gen 3. And oh, the, the Generation 2 was brand new. It was still in a sealed box. So anyways, uh, on to the Gen 3. Um, I looked on our um, local uh, reef forums, at club, the local reef club forum thing, and I found a guy that was uh, getting rid of his Generation 3 Radeon, and he wanted, you know, a certain amount of money, and I didn't really want to put it down because, you know, a couple extra bucks, I could have just got it brand new. So I emailed him and I said, hey, I have two MP40s that I'm no longer using and I have two brand new wet sides. Um, would you do a trade? And he totally heard me out on it. So um, that's what we went ahead and did. We did a straight across trade for the MP40s and I got the Generation 3 um, Radeon. Um, now, mind you, I thought that the, uh, I thought the light was used. Um, it was brand new in a box unused. It hasn't even been out of the box yet. He just decided he wasn't going that direction with uh, the Radeons. He wanted to do something else, so that's what he's doing. So I got that one brand new. I thought it was used, and it's not. It's brand spanking new. So that's how I got the uh, the Radeons, and that's what I'm going with. I was looking into them, just buying them brand new, and I just, you know, being patient, I just kept checking and checking and checking to see what I could find. Asked my local fish store. They had one, so that's what I did, guys. I ended up with the Radeons. I'm still going to supplement them with uh, four T5s because I just can't get completely away from the T5s. I love the benefits that uh, they offer and what they've done for me. So that's the lighting that we're going to be doing on the new 120. Um, let's get into what I did as far as the build. Um, sorry, that was a close up, huh? I uh, went ahead and I got the uh, Javo DCT 12,000 all plumbed. That's the uh, return pump that I'm going with. It's a, uh, it's a JCOD DCT 12,000. Or 15,000, 15,000, 15,000. And um, Here's what else I got. I did a water change on the big tank and I didn't have enough room 
in the sump to contain the rest of it. So what did I do? <laughs> I filled the frag tank. I got both drains running. Um, I'm definitely, definitely glad that I decided to run the second drain because it needed it. Um, so yeah, this is, I'm going to get some lock line and we're going to be doing some lock line so it's a little bit, you know, not so ugly. But for right now, this is what I had to do and I had the plumbing parts laying around because this line just shooting straight across into the drain, it was causing some problems with that drain. So, um, so we got the frag tank up and running now, actually, I'm not doing anything else with it and yeah, so the frag tank's running. I had to make a huge vent for the drain because it kept going blop, blop. It was retarded, so I put a big old, you know, vent pipe on it, and it's doing fine now. I have to use this as kind of a bleeder for the return pump because on its lowest setting, this pump, the DCT15000, was overflowing the frag tank. The drains couldn't keep up with it, and that's on its lowest setting. So I took the uh, the line off of the um, return for the display and just cracked the valve all the way open on it and using that as a bleeder valve. So uh, in the blue line you see there is uh, kind of a temporary fixture. I had it laying around and that's what I'm using for the second drain uh, at the very end on the frag tank. And you can see I got the uh, 45 put in for the drains for the refugium. So that's it guys, that is uh, literally all I've gotten done this week. Um, a lot of my time was taken up uh, getting these lights. I had to drive really far to get them. <laughs> so uh, that's, uh, that is literally it. Uh, mixing my first batch of salt went very successfully with the water system. And everything's still doing really well there. And that, uh, that pump mixed that salt hella fast. <laughs> it mixed that salt really, really fast. So that's it guys. Um, that's all I got done. So we'll see you next week to see what we're doing next. All right, guys. Later on.